Well, hello and welcome back, and thank you for coming back. We're in downtown Kedapathos. We're on the Kedapathos promenade. We're going to take you from the little fisher boy known as Iota. Is that the correct pronunciation? Mm -hmm. All the way down to the end of the Kedapathos promenade, and we'd like you to come with us. We're going to name some of the businesses, some of the restaurants, some of the cafes. We'll meet some old friends. You never know. We might even meet some new friends. But before we go, I'd like to introduce you to the most beautiful woman in the entire world. Her name is Otzi, the CVR Lubuf. Hello, everybody. How nice to see you again and again. And again. Stick with us. We are going to go and have a little walk along the Kedapaps Promenade, show you some beauty, show you some businesses, there's restaurants. It's a Sunday evening, so it's one of those funny, funny nights. Just over there, the ideal snack bar. It's getting ready. And it's semi-busy, should we say. You've got the Aphrodite Secrets. That's a traditional gift shop selling Cypriot ware. So that's Cypriot delight. That's olive oils. That's chewy nutty things. All that sort of stuff. Then next door to that, you've got a, a gift shop that sells well T-shirts, bags, glasses, all those kind of things. And then here is how do you say it? Bacchus. Yeah. There we are. My pronunciation is getting a little bit. Of it. The Bacchus Restaurant. Great restaurant. Always very busy from morning until night. Reason for that? Food's pretty good and the prices are very very good and on top of all of that of course there is something that you can't put a price on and that's that look at that one of the greatest greatest views in the world downtown Kedapathos looking out across the blue blue mediterranean sea absolutely spectacular golden rays are still in the sky as the sun starts on its descent off to downtown Cato Australia look at it there glistening through the trees absolutely spectacular a picture postcard that's for sure let's see what Kusibi has got to say when uh, yeah postcards and I was going to say when you look at this beauty in the real life you doubt if camera can translate that what I can see I think that's true it's true the camera gives you a great view and it really, really does. Camera technology has moved on hugely, hugely, hugely. The camera we're using, I think, I'm not technical, but it's somewhere around 100 million megapixels. I remember my first digital camera was about 4 million megapixels. So cameras have come on a long, long way. But I don't think that the cameras can actually grasp the beauty, the true beauty of what the human eye can see. Because the human eye can grasp the beauty of that sun hiding behind those trees as it starts on its descent off to downtown Cato, Australia. But don't worry if you're coming to Cyprus, because as I keep saying, it's coming back. It's getting later every day because, of course, the season is ending. But don't worry, it'll be back by about 6.30 in the morning and it's going to bake Cyprus again and again. You're going to get a great suntan if you're popping in. We'd like to see you. There it is. This is the mini little beach that's halfway down the Kedapathos promenade great great rocks to have a look at which breaks up the horizon and that's where the blue sea is transcending and mixing up into the blue sky and again as we come round there's the Kedapathos harbour and fort there's the big boats that's the ocean vision again you can just grasp the sea behind the palm trees as we come back round there's restaurants and gift shop after gift shop and of course that's Ochin Grisivio de Booth who happens to be the most beautiful Enjoying woman the in the world it happens to be <laughs> Exactly, it happens to be, otherwise it wouldn't be. There we are. Stick with us. We're going to keep on our little walk. And again, we'd like you to stick with us, so stay with us. Just over there, you've got the Mar Bianco Cafe. As you can see, it's three quarters full, which is not bad at this time. You all right? How are you doing? Hi, nice to see you. I've been watching you from England. What's Very your good. name, sir? Russell. Russell, where are you from? Uh, Kent, in England. Kent. Hi, you all right? Hi. What's your name? Tracy. Tracy. Yes, yes, yes. Thanks Hi, for Tracy. watching us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We've been just looking at the restaurants you went to. Lovely. And Thanks very much. And I like that t shirt. Uh, yeah, this is my evening. It's not my evening nice, wear. Nice this and blue. My... And it's got Levi's. <laughs> you have a great, great That's holder. Have a great yeah, holder. Thanks very much. Thanks very much. We love to be greeted. We really, really do. And we hope that we can help more and more people to find their way around downtown Cater If Ooh. there's somewhere you'd like us to go, please tell us. If we can go there, we will. In some cases, we can't go there. We went to the King Jason Hotel. I'm not insulting anyone, but we went to the King Jason Hotel the other day. And they said no. We asked their permission, and they said no. Last time we went there, we asked their permission, and they said yes. Who knows what's going on there? Who knows? But hopefully they will get with the programme 
some of the hotels now are with the programme. They understand that we're not trying to invade anyone's privacy. We're not trying to insult their businesses. And we're not trying to make fun of their businesses. We're trying to promote their businesses. And we only, only put a camera in someone's face if they're saying, come on, come on. Simple. There we go. You see me? Yes. Uh, if you noticed, Mr. Paul, and I would like to mention it again and again, that gentleman said very informative. Yes, and I appreciate that you and I thank him very much. the big information and honestly, without any exaggerating to anybody, to anything, you are really do. And you do talk on a correct way, in a very good English. I must say, people listen to you and here we go. They get information that it's very, very important for them and they find the places that they want to go. Well done, you. Well, hope that the channel is informative. We try, we just non-stop wobble, obviously. All of these places that we're walking past, obviously, they're like the back of my hand. So it doesn't mean a lot to me, but I hope that it does to you. I understand if you were from Brighton, for example, if I was watching a YouTube on Brighton, it would mean absolutely nothing to me because I've only ever been there once many, many years ago. But if you walked along that promenade and start going, that cafe, that cafe, that restaurant, look at that, look at that, I would watch it, find it interesting, and hopefully learn my way around. Anyway, we've got a good barrow up here. I'm wobbling on. I don't want to forget him because he is a friend of ours now. He's come on the program, if you understand. Captain's Bistro over there. That's their downstairs. Captain's View Cafe Restaurant upstairs. Why is it called The View? Very, very simple. Because it's got that. That's why it's called The View. And the man in charge of it, the man in charge is that man over there. And his name's Mr. Michael. So, if you want to go to that restaurant, come up and say hello to him. He's a nice, hello, nice guy. Guys. You're right. We never know what to do. Shake hands. COVID-19 has caused a lot of problems. We'll do that. There we are. He's got a great smile. He's got a great smile and honest eyes. So, pop in there. If you mention us, you never know. You might get a free little drink or something. They come on board. We don't get anything out of it, you understand? All we want them to do is welcome us into their restaurants and into their hearts so that we can welcome them to you. It's very, very simple. Now, one of our Gumbarus, there she is. Great smile on the face. The Rastafarian, one of the greatest braiders in downtown Kedapapos. So if you want braiding, this is where you might want to come. You choose the twine. There are letters in there. There are different colored beads, all that sort of stuff. And there's plenty of ideas. Or you may have some ideas of your own. You tell her what you want, give her some money, and she will braid the life out of you, as I say. That is for sure. Now, it's starting to get busier in this section because we understand we are approaching the downtown Cato Paphos Harbour area. So that's where it all congeals, and that's where everyone goes to eat. That gentleman and his wife had just told us that we're looking at restaurants down there. Anyway, coming to the end of the promenade, you've got the sea view. That's the place where we've got a few gun barrows. That's where Miss Nadia hangs out. She's in charge of that place. Anything you want in there that perhaps you see earlier on in the day and perhaps later it's been sold, you collar her and tell her and she will go and find it. That's the harbour. There he is. Well, well, I'll just do it then. I'll sit here and I'll make all the money. Because this man makes a lot of money, that's for sure. So I'll sit here. What would you like? <laughs> what would you like? No, no, no. Did he do, did he do yeah, a good Paul, job? Paul, it's ready, it's ready. Ah, oh, Paul, Paul, it's ready. On. Has the lady paid? Yeah, yeah, it's okay, okay. And they give more money. Would you like a little bag? Perfect. Yeah, you'll give it back, lady. I'll give it to you. Thank you very much. Thank you. You never know, you can't trust him. You can't trust him. He did a... Have a bag. Are you filming us? Yes, of course. I'll be charged tonight. I've got this and I've got that. On top of all that, look at this. Have you seen this? Have you seen how much money he's got? He's got loads and loads of money. You don't smoke, Mr. Paul. Forget. Then come easy. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Okay, Paul. There. Okay. Okay. What's this? Is this drugs? Vaccines. That's it. Ready. We're ready. We're ready. We're ready. Make some money tonight. Lovely. Hopefully. This is Constantine, the yeah. one and only superstar, great, great friends. What does he do? Grain of rice, 
you put your name on it. Well, sorry, he'll put his name on it. Let's show you the blow up. There we are. That's what he'll do. And there's different colored dyes you can put in there, little roses, all sorts of little things. And it could be the perfect gift for your girlfriend, for your wife, for your husband, for your son, for your daughter, your cat, your dog, your auntie, your neighbor. Who knows? Anybody. Have a look at that. Different little vials to put it in. And then of course there are different color bracelets. That particular lady then chose to have a black bracelet, which looked very, very nice. This is an idea for your dog or your keys or your cat. And they also do them to go on pendants if you wish. And they do those true seashells. Again, your little name or your message, I love you, that sort of stuff can be put on there. So great, great idea, unique in the whole of Paphos. So there's nobody else doing it, only him. So that's where you come. Mr. Constantinus, and he's got a beautiful, beautiful wife, and her name is Katerina. She's off spending his money. Am I right? There we are. Thanks, Constantinus. See you later. He's an absolute star. He really, really is. And we are great friends, and he has a great bit of fun with us off camera after when we come back. We'll be dancing up and down the street, and all sorts will be going on. Now, this is Jenny the Best. She's the greatest hair wrapper and braider in the whole of downtown Code of Papos. There's her contact numbers, and there's some of the people that she has braided the life out of. One person she hasn't braided the life out of is him, Mr. Mark. He's not been braided yet. But she is thinking about braiding his beard, that's for sure. You're right? How you doing? That's a nice bit of braiding you're doing there. Yeah. Jenny the best. Thanks, Miss Jenny. Yeah. Absolute star. She's an absolute star. Always busy, busy, busy. Right, the next man. No introduction required. Mr. Chris. How you doing, Mr. Chris? You right? Good. Great, great head of hair as usual. Where's your hat? There it is. Get that blue hat on. Excellent. It always looks better with a blue hat on. We don't know it's him unless he's a blue hat. What does he do? Well, we'll show you what he do. He is in charge of all the Mediterranean sea sponges. He is the mafia. He's paid the mayor and he has exclusive rights to sell all of the Mediterranean sea sponges in the whole of Paphos. So if you want a Mediterranean sea sponge, that's the man to come to see. It's that simple. He's got small ones, medium sized ones in different colors, rougher ones, bigger ones. Where's my favorite ones? Oh, there it is. That's the one I like because that one, that can chop your head off, that's for sure. Now, if you're wondering what you do with these, you get one of them, you dip it in a bit of water, you wring it out, but because it's a natural sponge, it actually holds the moisture. Pop it in your pocket or your bag, dab your forehead, dab the back of neck, clinically proven to open the pores and make you feel cooler. And also the rougher ones are very good for exfoliating, is the word, and they're also very good for removing makeup, blackheads, that sort of thing. Thanks, Mr. Chris. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. you. Now, over here, he also has an array of shells and all these bits and bobs. And he's got one or two shark teeth left, but they're having problems. The stock of those has run out. Now, he's also got a son, and it wouldn't be fair not to promote his son, because he's a really, really nice guy as well. And he's a diving instructor. He's got his own business, operates to the rear of the Almir Hotel. It's called Into the Blue, my favorite color. He's on the internet. He is on uh, Facebook into the blue cy telephone for number 00357 9621 8976 paddy registered and obviously on TripAdvisor. now if you are an amateur or a professional he's got a course or something that you will be interested in. very very reasonable prices there are flyers in various locations and as you see the prices start off at only 45 euros now we understand that's rapidly going to rise as you choose what you want to do but for about 100 euros a pop you're going to have a great, great day out, that's for sure. We're having a nice little chat. Two friends having a chat. Yes, of course. Chris is my friend. Yes. And your friend. Yes. So we are loving him. Where's our lawyer tonight? <laughs> uh, he's busy tonight. He's busy tonight. Yeah. There we are. He's robbing a bank tonight. <laughs> there we are. Thanks, Mr. Chris. Now, we've got another great, great guy over here, and his name is Mr. Hector, one of the greatest artists in downtown Cater Papos. Hey. You all right, Hector? Hello, hello. He's a star. There of he is. Of course, he's busy. Now, Let him work. Portraits. Yes. And, of course, character chores. And he's done all the most famous people who come to Paphos. The only person he hasn't done is me and her. But he's promised he's going to do one for us. Thanks, Hector. Thanks. He's an absolute star. He's busy. He's told us to interrupt him when he is busy because it doesn't disturb him at all. He likes to be on the videos because it makes him feel special. That's what he's told us. And he likes to be on the videos because he hopes that hopefully some of our viewers will understand he's a great artist and a very, very nice guy. Obviously, he wants your money, but he wants your money in a very, very nice way. That is for sure. It's not an easy job, by the way, to be an job. artist. Very hard. Because 
because some people believe that the way he draw them, it's not they, they, them. You understand what I mean? I understand what you mean. Yeah, yeah. it's capturing the lightness of yeah. the person is the gift. Yeah. Exactly. Often the sketch may not look, should we say, like the person, or we think it doesn't, but they've captured the smile or the inner soul. Is what I was once told by a great, great artist who was a friend of mine. Unfortunately, he died a few years ago. Anyway. It's time for the big, big goodbye. This is the end of the promenade. We've got a great view, which we're going to share with you. And there's a turtle watching boat coming back in. They've been out watching turtles for a couple of hours. And it's coming in now. So that means it's somewhere around 7 o'clock. Because there it is. If you look beyond those rocks, there's a yellow bottom, glass bottomed turtle watching boat coming back in. So that means it's approximately 7 o'clock. But look across that beautiful, beautiful Maya as it mixes up with the beautiful sky. And there's a beautiful moon up there. Look at that. Absolutely spectacular. And there's a beautiful lady. Thank you very much for the watching. Thank you for being with us. We are loving you to be. And please don't forget to come and see another of our madnesses. All that's left for me to say is thanks for watching. And of course, if you do like what you see, please hit the like, click subscribe, and come back for a little bit more of our madness. I'll leave you with a great, great view. And if you're very, very lucky, you'll get a look and watch you see the other booth one last time. There you go. Thanks for watching.